。好，第廿九条咧就系有关于传染病，咁我哋要做翻配对致病源同埋佢哋嘅传染方法。咁答案咧就只得一个啦，就系、是、乙型肝炎，透过乙型肝炎病毒所导致，而佢哋传染方法咧就系透过体液。咁所以啦，一个乙型肝炎嘅病人咧，佢系有机会透过不安全嘅性行为啊，共用针筒啊，嚟从而将体液入面嘅病毒就传俾另一个人嘅。而呢条题目另一款病痛霍乱咧，就系、是、由细菌所导致，而佢传染方法咧就系、是、唔干净嘅嘢食嘅。咁啊呢一款。题目咧啲咩变化咧？之前都问过噶啦，其他传染病有其他嘅病原体，有其他嘅疾病，有做过配对啦。今次就系问你传播方法啫，下次咪问你如何防止疾病嘅传染咯。Question twenty nine is about the infectious disease. We need to do the matching for the causative agent and the way of transmission. So the only answer will be C. Hepatitis B is caused by the hepatitis B virus, and the way of transmission is through the body fluid, blood, semen, and the vaginal fluid. So that means. The patient with the hepatitis B may transmit the virus in the body fluid through the unprotected sexual intercourse or sharing the needles to the other individuals. So for the other disease in this question, that's the cholera is caused by the bacterium, and the way of transmission should be the contaminated food. So any possible question variation for this question, so you can ask about other infectious disease, the pathogen and the disease to the matching, or this time it asks you the way of transmission, and next time it will ask you the preventive measures.